All right, so the current page I have set up for tanks. This is going to fall under, let's say, Braum, Nautilus, uh, Leona, Alistar. This is what I would be running on these champions right now. All right, so first off, for these for these tank engaged champions, we're going to run Aftershock. The reason being, after mobilizing an enemy champion, gain defenses and later deal a burst of adaptive damage around you, right? So let's get this on so we can see everything here. And the damage starts off at 40 to 140 with a 20 second cooldown, and it, it adds 3.5% of, uh, of your max HP. So whenever you engage, you've got a little bit extra damage to follow up with, uh, and tankiness, to follow up with the, uh, the burst combo you're already putting out, right? So with, with the low HP, low MR builds that are out there right now, with most champions, especially uh, in the bot lane ADC, squishy supports, this is a little bit extra damage, plus running Ignite, just like just enough to get easy kills level 2. So the second one I've been running, get a little bit more HP out of this. Wait, wait, not HP. A little healing for allies. So, okay. Impairing the movement of an enemy champion marks them for 4 seconds. Ally champions who attack marked enemies heal for 5 plus 1% of your max health over 2 seconds. Right? So what I do early game is I rush, uh, I rush face of the mountain and then I rush ruby sidestone. The reason being, like, all that HP is adding to font of life. It's also adding to your face of the mountain. So stacking early health I feel is really beneficial, plus you're getting the defenses from Aftershock to make you a little bit tankier, so you've got that extra armor MR for overall tankiness. Wait, is Braum Q proc Aftershock or just a stun? I believe you need the stun for it on Braum. But I mean, once you hit that stun and you get that extra defense, like as soon as they're stunned in place, uh, you're gonna have a better chance of getting, getting the aftershock damage off anyway, right? So after that, I run Iron Skin to get that little bit extra armor early on, so you're not taking as much damage from autos. Supposed to get better, a uh, little bit bit more HP from your consumables. And then lastly, I'll run Overgrowth. I take the overgrowth for the max HP. Uh, this scales endlessly into the game. So getting that max HP, it's also going to benefit your face of the mountain, your locket, all these things that are helping your allies uh, stay alive. Getting extra health is just really good. So after that, I've been running sudden, sudden Impact. Getting Lethality and Magic Pen when enemies already have really low armor and MR is just going to like optimize the damage that you're putting out from the base damages on your abilities, right? So I'm running that matched with Ingenious Hunter for the active item CDR, which also stacks up 6% more per Bounty Hunter stack. You can get 5 of those. You can have, what, a total of 40% active item CDR plus Ruby Sightstone, so what, 60%? So it puts your face of the mountain down to, what, about 20 seconds for, for your tanks? Really, really good cooldowns for your active items. So I definitely recommend getting that if you can. You can. Get your stacks. BOP. Uh, this is my standard mage page right now. Some things I was trying to run common on. If it's got a built-in slow like a Velkaz Q or Lux E, I would say run Arcane Comet. But other than that, uh, basically anything that doesn't have slow built into the kit. If you want to play a mage support, say you want to play... Um, what are we going to play? Let's say let's say Vagar's support. Vagar's pretty decent. Zerat support. Play a mage support that's just off the meta a little bit. Airy is going to be more beneficial because... There's no slow built into the, the abilities you're trading with. So this is just instant damage on a 4 second cooldown, right? You get the free damage, very low cooldown, you can spam that. And yeah, yeah, Morgana I would also run the comment with the, uh, the snare. Works pretty good. Alright, what is this? I had this set up for Lux support. So with Lux I was running Ultimate Hat, getting your ult cooldown at 40% CDR and level 16. It puts it down to, what, 25.5 seconds, I believe it was? So Ultimate Hat's pretty nice, but it hurts your laning phase a lot. Like, Mana Flow Band, I would say, is going to be optimal for all your mage supports. So, unless that has a slow build-in, like, if you're playing Velkaz, if you're playing... What was the other one I said? Karma could run Comet. So Velkaz, Karma... Shit, what was the third one? Morgana's going to run Comet. Lux can run Comet because they're E. Okay, so that's four. That's four right there. Vagar, Xerath, um, 
Brand. Probably going to run Summon Airy. Run Summon Airy on those. Zyra could probably get away with Comet. But definitely run the Mana Flow Band. I've been running Transcendence just to get that extra CDR. However, if, it, if it's a game where you feel like you're going to need Zhonya's, uh, you're going to be overcapped with CDR. So Celerity might actually be better in games you think you're building Zhonya's. That way you're not overcapped CDR and you get the extra move speed for cutting stuff out. Uh, also Scorch. Scorch is a really good ability to trade with. Make sure that you have that on any maze support that you're running. It's it's definitely really good. Now, other than that, I'm running Taste of Blood and uh, Ravenous Hunter. You don't have that many actives, so I'm not worried about Ingenious Hunter. But getting that health back for your abilities, you can kite stuff out, you can get health back while you're running away, and it just it gets you through laning phase a lot better with the uh, the double health return abilities. So those, that's what I go. It's been really effective right now. Try it out. Tell me what you think. This is going to be on YouTube so you guys can uh, test it out. And just leave comments. Tell me how it goes for you guys. For your enchanter supports, this is going to be, let's say, Sona, Soraka, Nami, Janna, Lulu. So all those champs. We're going to take Summonary, Mana Flow Band, Celerity, Scorch, Biscuit Delivery, and Cosmic Insight. So you're getting you're getting the damage to trade with Airy or Shielding. You're getting the Mana Flow Band, so you get that Mana Restore. Um, celerity for move speed. Yeah, on a channel, there's definitely Celerity over Transcendence. I think the move speed is going to be better for kiting stuff out instead of uh, the CDR level 10 because you're going a lot more CDR items on a channel. So Scorch, 100%. All right, th this is probably going to be the best right here. Just getting the biscuits, getting the cosmic insight. Like you could take the stopwatch even instead of the biscuits since they're not that great. But I think the CDR is pretty good. All right, guys. Yeah, so that is enchanters and yeah, it's pretty similar to your maze supports, just a little bit different. So you had a question about okay, let's go back to my tank engage page. Okay, so I was running cheap shot initially, right? But looking at this, after exiting stealth, using a leap, dash, blink, teleport, dealing any damage with champion grants you 10 lethality and 8 magic pen for 5 seconds, right? So all your autos, your spells, you're getting that extra, like, hybrid pen early on that you used to have in uh, previous seasons. So instead of, like, I, I feel like this is a lot better because it's going to be benefiting your entire kit rather than just dealing one amount of true damage, right? So this benefits everything you do. This is just one hit of true damage while everything else is still getting reduced more, right? So I think this just has a little bit more value. That's why I'm going with Sudden Impact. I see that on Leona, but is it still worth on like Ali and Braum who have little damage? You'd be surprised how much damage they can put out with their like their combos, Belkut. They don't necessarily have as much damage as Leona because they don't have that auto attack reset built in. Um, but they still do pretty decent damage, so having the pen I feel is just more beneficial. Mm -hmm.